Rocher. Welcome back to my channel. The lighting is really off. My ring light is all the way back there. It's y'all. I really, I really don't care. I'm only putting, um, yeah. I just don't care. This is a hair video, as y'all could tell from the title. This is a hair video. Um, I'm putting this like blonde whatever i'm going on vacation next friday and i was gonna wait to do my hair but i'm trying to go out tonight so i gotta put my hair on i just been walking around looking like who did it and why so i'm tired of that so i'm just about to do my hair i'm gonna voice over it y'all because i don't really have time to be sitting here um explaining the steps and stuff i'm really going out and i on a time crunch so i'm just gonna be um installing the wig and i'll just voice over it yeah i'll just do a voiceover or whatever i'm gonna be smoking and drinking in the background so just don't even mind me this is a faded wig install so yeah i might hop in clips in there if i have something to say to y'all because i am going to be drinking and y'all know how i get when i get drunk so um yeah but I will not be talking in this video unless I'm doing a voiceover or unless I'm coming to y'all drunk. I don't know, but yeah, let's just get into the video. Okay, y'all, so I'm starting with the wig right here. Before I get started, I did bleach the knots and everything off camera. Obviously, I did my wig, um, my wig cap off camera and everything. And I'm just putting makeup in the lace here. I use the same makeup that I use on my wig cap for my um my lace as well, y'all. And after I put the makeup on the lace, I always adjust the straps in the back to make the wig tighter. And I just go ahead and I fit it on my head. Um, you could adjust the straps however you do it. I think I always put them on the third one. I want it to be fitted on my head, so I make it tight. And then, as you can see, I'm pulling the lace up to get it over my wig cap. And you're going to see, you can see the wig cap, but just see how I, you know, how I put it together, y'all. Just trust the process. It's just trust the process. Trust the process. Did I say that right? The process. <laughs> and then I just cut off some of that excess lace because they do be putting too much, they be putting too much lace and they be in the way. And somebody like me, I wear glasses for real, and I really can't see. But yeah, I'm just cutting off that access lace and just matching up the lace with the wig cap. Still, you know, making sure it's on fitting on there, right? How I like it. this bitch down period um the glue that i be using is ghost bond glue i think y'all should know that by now i be using ghost bond glue if y'all got any other recommendations for some other glue let me know in the comments down below what glue you like to use as you can tell i'm jamming out Ooh, looks like it's shot o'clock period take a shot take a shot take a shot yeah i love tequila that's the only thing you will ever Catch me drinking is tequila, Casamigos, Don Julio, Patron. Give me the tequila, baby. Nothing else but the tequila. But I'm getting all my glue and stuff together. Um, I gotta open it, so it'd be taking me a long time to get it together. Um, and I just put it on there with a little rat tail comb. And that should blend your um, wig cap too as well. When you put the glue down, always go towards your face because um, it'll lay down the wig cap 
fun, fun, I was gonna say fun fact, but that's a tip. Always put your glue on towards your face. Okay, we on to shot number two. Shot number two. And always, y'all, let your glue dry clear. Now, at the top part, I didn't, but let your glue dry clear. Be patient and let the glue dry clear. Because if you don't, your shit will be white. And go in with that second coat of glue. And you could blow dry it to help it um, dry faster but you know it, it usually dries quick so but I just went in to help it blow dry because I was going out so I was in a rush but as you can see my shit is really clear except for like at the top but you know I fixed that so it doesn't really matter after it dry clear go ahead and pull that lace on forward um, I don't really I usually like to do like this side. Uh, I just go around the whole head to be honest. I try to start in the middle sometimes or sometimes I start like from the side. But either way, just make sure like it looks right when you stick it down because once it's down, it's down. And that glue gonna hold it dude. So make sure you get it down right how you want it to be because it's gonna be a motherfucker to get it off. And then I'll always go in with a rat tail comb to like let it Make sure it sticks in there more. Always use a rat tail comb. A rat tail comb will really help you in the long run. I love using the rat tail combs to like get the get the lace down in there for real. Even is, it, is that what it's called? Even lace lace spray. Get it? It works wonders. I love it. Grab it. I always spray it on the lace and then tie that bitch down for real.
Okay, so now I'm about to start like trying to define my part a little bit. Um, and then wh while I'm defining my part, I always hot comb it as well to get it to be flat because as you could tell, it's not flat. And a not flat part is a not cute wig. So always make sure your part is flat, y'all. Like never come out the house with a hump in your part. Mm -mm, never. Don't do that. I was really indecisive on what part I wanted to do, but now I'm just blow drying the lace just to make sure it's dry, stuck down, just, you know, a little bit more with the blow dry. I always start with the scissors in the middle and then I go in with like the little razor, this little like razor thing and I just go around and cut off the lace and as you're gonna see it is white but trust the process it's all gonna melt together by the end of this video. Um, at, when you cut your lace you know this is what your lace is gonna look like if you really do hair you know this is what your lace is gonna look like it's not gonna be perfectly melted as soon as you cut the lace off so do not come for me in the comments part a little bit more and I'm on the phone with Tavia so 
you gonna see me talking. <laughs> she had called me. She was trying to look at my hair and it wasn't in. All the way. If y'all hear anything in the background, Naya is in the background just playing videos. I told you I was editing and I was doing voiceovers. Anyway, I am carving my edges out, as y'all could tell. And I, um, well not carving, but like taking them out. And I always use my hot comb when I do this too. goes a long way spread on that waist and then tie your hair down again and it'll be good in it. Where's the waist? <laughs> I don't know why it's even so long to say that. <laughs> This is the end result. Her, oh, don't mind my patch, but y'all, like, who told me to slay these fucking wigs? And I put these lashes on myself. Y'all, I'm finna go out. I'm finna go out. This is the end. I just wanted to come on here and show y'all. I couldn't finish the hair on camera, y'all. The camera, um, my SD cards, they kept fucking up and shit. So I just finished off camera. But this is the hair, and the curls is giving, period. Let me do a thumbnail. This is so freaking cute. I love this hair. Yo, I got this hair off Amazon too. Um, I'm going to try to link it in the description box below. You already know what to do. Go look in the description box. Follow all my social medias. They're always in the description box. Also, subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me. And turn on your bell notifications also and i'll see you guys in my next video love you guys be safe you already know the dealio and i'll see you guys in my next video peace